Hey everyone, it's Prolescent Toys back in today's video with another Marvel Legends action figure review and today we are looking at Superior Iron Man from the Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave. I was lucky enough to find mine at my local Macy's for some reason, so yeah, if you're having trouble finding anyone from this wave or you just want to find these figures in person, definitely go to Macy's, uh, their Toys R Us section. Yeah, and he's like retail price too, so that's, that's good to see. And here's the side of art. Psychic fallout from a battle with Red Skull leaves Iron Man a changed man, causing havoc among humanity in symbiote-infused armor. Remember when everyone thought Tom Cruise was going to play him, uh, or like this version of Iron Man in Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness? That was, those are some great times. I think all the speculation uh, would have made a better movie than what we got. I'm really sorry to all the five Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness fans out there. Uh, you know. Anyways, here is the barcode, and without further ado, let's get into the review. And here we have him out of the packaging, Superior Iron Man. Superior Iron Man would make his debut in, well, Superior Iron Man issue number one. While I haven't read Superior Iron Man yet, I am all in for uh, some evil Avengers. You know. Um... But yeah, unfortunately, it this figure doesn't really do that great of a job of capturing uh, Superior Iron Man from the comics. It does a really good job, actually, but um, it isn't perfect. And a lot of that is because this figure is almost entirely reuse from the Mark 85, I believe, from Avengers Endgame. Uh, yeah, they used an the MCU figure. You can tell because like, there's some pegs right there. It, it, yeah, and it just looks exactly like that figure, which... I'll just show a picture off to the sides right here because it's in a bin right now and I just really, I really don't feel like digging it out. But no, they did add a few new things like the arms right there. You can see they're pinless and they look really, really good. The hands, I believe, are, again, reuse. And yeah, I'll just have to like put reference pictures because yeah, I'm not sure which parts are reused, which ones. I'm pretty sure this part is not reused. The shoulders, at least... Um, the arms could be reused, I don't know, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I mean, mm, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I know positivity is one of my key features on this channel. You know, I try not to be super hateful on action figures because they're just toys, you know, I, I, why expend that much energy on them? There's enough negativity out there in the world right now. So this is like our safe haven. Um. I'm just really not a big fan of Hasbro reusing movie assets on comic book figures. It's just so annoying. I know earlier this year there was a big example of that with Namorita, where she used the Black Widow uh, Winter Soldier hands that didn't articulate well. And I, everyone was just like, why would you do this? Um, yeah, it's a big bummer that they're just reusing movie parts. Um, just because it's blatantly obvious too, uh, it looks nothing like any of the other Iron Man figures. It has like, act, like it sort of has real world proportions to him. You know, the arms are smaller, legs are skinnier. Putting him next to like a comic book Iron Man and, um, maybe I have to bite my words because it does sort of fit in, but I don't know. I think it would have been a lot better if they had just made it a entirely unique sculpt. Kicking things off with the feet and you get some like cybernetic blue bits right there going all the way around and I love that you know the blue and the white it sort of sort of like reminds me of like the institute from fallout 4 it's just like really uh pristine and clean looking and of course you get some more blue lights going all across right here now this suit is uh imbued with some symbiote power so yeah it, it looks and it kind of makes it look fluid almost, you know, these lines everywhere, it makes it look more fluid. Here you get some black bits underneath the, cr the crotch face. I don't know. I don't know why I just show that. Then on the back, you get some more lines for the buttocks and you get some discs right here, you know, very reminiscent of the classic Iron Man armors. Really love that. Really love that touch. You know, it is modern, but it's still holding true to its classic design. Um, and then going up, here's the abdomen. Love the layers of metal on top of each other. And then on the back, yeah, you get some more circuitry, more like cybernetic detailing all throughout the figure. And then up here, the arc reactor. Um, 
I might have to pull up some more reference pictures because it isn't entirely spot on with the comics, but it's very close. I'll, I'll give them props for that, you know. Uh, and still, I'm not a big fan of them reusing MCU parts, but it kind of works. It kind of works, but, you know, it, I think a unique sculpt would have been, uh, worked a lot better. Um, then going down the arms, yeah, this bit right here, I'm almost certain it's new because I don't remember the Mark 85 having this piece right here. And then continuing down, and yeah, you get another node right there very liquidy looking you know very fluid i uh, love that and yeah again more arc lights around the hand i mean around the wrist and you get some like segmented lines all throughout the wrist right there too uh very reminiscent of classic iron man who i'll bring in right here yeah you can see the lines in the wrist those discs the trunks right here also having lines yeah oh my god yeah and the two lights off to the side right there yeah, I really love all the callbacks to the original armors and it just like it really ties a bow on this figure because it is Tony Stark, but he's a lot different. Um, Going up to the face, dude, this thing looks awesome. It, it does come with another head sculpt, which I'll show off in a bit in the accessories portion of this video. But like, I don't think I'll ever use that one. Like, it's so good. I mean, obviously, I'll have to because I have been, I plan on using this for the Hall of Armor that I'm building. But, yeah, this head sculpt is just so gnarly, so sinister. That's what it is. It looks so sinister with his pupils whited out and just that evil grin, the eyebrows tucked in. Like, it just looks so good. And there's an arc reactor for the ears and the hair sticking out. I love it when comic book designs like do this thing where the head is showing, like the invincible effect. Um, <laughs> it just always tickles my fancy. And yeah, the digital face printing, again, Hasbro have been on top of their game lately. They have been knocking it out of the park each and every time they tackle uh, you know, a face for the comic book figures. They all look so phenomenal. And here is no different. Oh man, that hair looks very flowy, very nice. Yeah, just an overall, an amazing, amazing figure. Oh, am I gonna have to eat my words? Am I gonna have to take back everything I've said so far? Uh, we'll fi find out at the end of the video. Anyways, yeah, the first accessory comes out is this sorta unmasked head sculpt. And the next one is this masked head sculpt. The helmet is down, uh, looking very, very nice. Love, love, love the, the futuristic uh, design of it how sleek it is uh, all white with the blue lines going uh, as the outline instead of black yeah it just looks so clean so neat love that he also comes with two opened hands with peg holes in the middle which are able to plug these repulsor blast effects and they don't plug in all the way unfortunately but they do go in most of the way so you don't have to worry about them falling out they are able to plug in all the way at the feet you are able to remove the base of that repulsor blast effect you know you can see the before and after however it leaves a big peg right there so yeah i think i'll leave mine on he also comes with two fisted hands but going over articulation the head is able to move up this much he is able to look down that much he has a slight pivot and some side to side movement the arm is able to move up this much and it is able to go all the way around he has an upper bicep swivel a double jointed elbow that's able to bend in this much and he has your standard wrist hinge going up down all the way around he does have a diaphragm joint allowing him to move this far back and go forward just a tiny bit he has some pivot and some side to side movement now his leg is able to kick up this much go out to the side that much and go back a tiny amount he has upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee that's able to bend in this much, and his foot is able to move mm, ooh, ooh, this far down, ooh, just a tiny bit up, and he has some... Now onto the size comparisons. Here he is next to Black Winter and Red Widow, Wolfsbane and Icarus, Kazar and Zabu, Heroic Age and Modular, Model 1 and Model 9. Model 20 and the 80th Anniversary, Thor and Captain America, Spider-Man and Black Widow, Black Panther and Daredevil, Hercules and Hawkeye, 
Ironheart and She-Hulk, Darwin and Morbius, and finally Commander Gary and Spider-Ham. All right, final rating in my overall thoughts. I think I'm going to give Superior Iron Man here a final rating of 9 out of 10. You know what? I'm going to bite my words. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I don't think the MCU body really hindered this figure at all. I think it only maybe enhanced it just due to the already present uh, detailing in the sculpt. It was able to just like bring this figure to life just a bit more than say like a comic book or like a reuse of a previous mold would have. Um, yeah, it just makes it feel a bit more lifelike. <sighs> The shame, the shame, the absolute shame I feel right now. But yeah, I think the sculpt here is just fine. I think it's wonderful. Um, it's really cool that they were able to find a use for that Mark 85 body. And the accessories are pretty good as well. And that head will just, wow. The paint apps, that's like my biggest love about this figure is the paint apps. They all look fantastic. Everything is super crisp here. So yeah, I'm going to give Superior Iron Man a 9 out of 10. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Anything you can do that will support the channel will be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Go check out my Iron Man Retro Collection Wave reviews. I have them up for everyone in the wave so far. And um, yeah, check out the other figures from the Zabu Build a Figure Wave. I should be getting cables soon, hopefully. Uh, it, they've just been lagging on that, sending that one out. I haven't had any luck finding him at my local Macy's. So yeah, he is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Spider-Man and Black Panther, and finally, Gary Commander.